हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अनुराग शर्मा आई एम द इंचार्ज ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट हेयर इन ओजस हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर 26 सिक्स पंचकुला हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर मुनीष देव आई एम वर्किंग एज अ कंसल्टेंट कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट इन ओजस हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर 26 सिक्स पंचकूला सो टुडे वी आर इन आवर सी सी यू वे वी टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल द पेशेंट्स ऑफ हार्ट अटैक एंड हार्ट फेलियर एमरजेंसीज सो टुडे द मैसेज इज दैट वी ऑल नीड टू वेक अप एज फार एज आवर लाइफ स्टाइल इज कंसर्न and uh, we are getting a uh, lot of patients who are younger and uh, they are into not very old age and still they are getting heart problems like a heart attack and angina and they are requiring the angioplasty technique to solve or you can say to clear their blockages so we are just going to uh, see few patients how their profile is and how it is affecting the younger pa- patients who are very productive in their age they are all educated but uh, their health education is very less so they don't know how to take care of their health they are into jobs they are well placed and uh, they are they can afford every type of treatment but still they're not bothered or taking care of their health so this passage is basically to all of us i think including me also that the importance to health is very very important that how we take care of our daily routine so uh, this is our uh, one of our patients uh, he is 45 years he came with a chest pain for the past one or two days he had previously also chest pain he is diabetic and uh, he was sedentary number one number two he was a smoker also so in a diabetes patient smoking increases the risk of heart attacks or the clots in the heart so when he came he had still some chest pain though he came late according to the guidelines but still uh, pain was there and artery was 100% occluded and after that the ecg improved and he improved so he has been now advised full lifestyle change and uh, about educating about the prevention of further blockages luckily he had a single vessel disease his other two arteries are normal and if he still maintains his lifestyle maintains his diabetes he still will live a long life and without any heart failure he is a uh, 42 years old gentleman and uh, luckily his brain functions are all right and now he's breathing on his own he's off inotropic support and uh, he is improving so here is the matter that he doesn't have any traditional risk factors like diabetes like smoking like no family history even but he's obese and uh, he's uh, basically having very poor dietary uh, intake that was a reason so this is a new risk factors now coming in so this is important 27 years gentleman who is not a smoker but he has strong family history of heart disease both mother and father they were heart patients so if you have a strong family history you automatically have 20% risk of developing heart problems so he was also working very hard for his work routine 12 hours now he has agreed that he will shorten his work hours and uh, he was also obese and sedentary never used to walk much and uh, do any exercise physical activity and not much uh, concerned about his dietary pattern also he was taking high calorie food so these are the new risk factors and uh, one of the main risk factor in his case was family history so if you have family history you take precaution so that you don't suffer uh, attack or heart failure or heart attack at very early age so his parents they got at slightly later age he got at 47 years so here we are we are trying to tell is through these patients that we need to wake up and uh, we need to look at our uh, risk factors which are new risk factors are sedentary lifestyle smoking obviously is a still it in fashion in many people and uh, we need to stop smoking and if you are a diabetic or a family history you need to be extra careful that you don't suffer from a heart attack all these patients they luckily still have good pumping capacity one of the patients i just told you that he was delayed at home he was sitting for 3 4 hours by the time he reached hospital he already had a cardiac arrest so cardiac arrest means the chances of survival are not always there he this guy was lucky that he survived and uh, we could do still save him with the grace of god so looking at all these patients uh, who are admitted with us and we are not a very big center but if you look at any big center in in india i think in any tri city part of chandigarh there must be many more patients who are getting the problem of heart attacks angina 
at this young age. And uh, last to last week we had 38 years and a few months back we had to do angioplasty in a 28 years gentleman who was a diabetic but not at all taking care of his diabetes. He was 28 years old. So looking at all these patients, there are two things which come into my mind are one is the prevalence of this problem in India and the second is how much is the burden on the healthcare workers and recently we lost one of our cardiologist colleague and he used to do a lot of work so I think this message is not for the patients or the public also this is for the doctors including myself also that we need to cut down to our working hours we need to have time spent with uh, maybe our hobbies our family and uh, also take care of the risk factors which are sedentary lifestyle smoking obesity food habits try to eat less food more of vegetables no outside food and uh, i think the restaurant culture all these are combining together and creating a new epidemic of coronary artery disease which can be very detrimental and it can really lose the productive years in anybody's life. We all know about diabetes, we all know about hypertension. There are many patients who are young hypertensive but they're not taking medication and uh, they're not uh, looking at the goals of blood pressure control. There are many diabetes patients who are not at all maintaining the HbA1c to less than 7%. They're just taking tablet for the sake of it but not getting checked up whether the, really the medicine is adequate or not. And we are not taking off the cholesterol levels also. So these are the traditional, but the newer ones are the sedentary, the obesity and bad food habits and overworking hours because when you work more, your sympathetic system is activated for a longer time. You sleep less. So these are all very important things. So this is a wake up call and this is a wake up message. Thank you everyone.